Today, I'll show you how to do your Dogecoin crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another coin integration video. Today, we're talking about Dogecoin, everyone's favorite meme coin. I don't really know how much information I need to tell you about the about Dogecoin. I feel like everyone on the planet knows about it. So I'll jump right into you know the most important part, which is the integration. Then I'll tell you about uh, how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave you with a bunch of different resources you can go to. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So in order to import your Dogecoin, information. Firstly, obviously log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, that's perfectly fine. You can make one completely free. So sign up for a Coinly account, head over into the wallet section, click on add wallet. Now, a few different things to note here. If you are using something, let's say like Coinbase and you've been doing Dogecoin types of transactions, you know, withdrawals, purchases, stuff like that, That'll, that information will be included in the API that you get from Coinbase. So you don't have to worry about it from that perspective. Or if, you know, alternatively, you are importing all your data via CSV files, uh, files that have trade information, withdrawal information, deposit information, that stuff will be in there as well. However, if you would like to import it via, you know, public keys or XPubs, uh, XPub, YPub, and ZPub keys, this is where I will show you how to do that. So for today's example, I'll be using the Atomic Wallet. So firstly, obviously, going back, you're going to click on Add Wallet. And you can do two different things. Firstly, you can go on uh, Atomic and then click on Atomic Wallet and then click Set Up Auto Sync. So here it'll tell you specifically for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Dash, etc. Find the XPub, YPub, and ZPub keys for each of your coins on Atomic Wallet. So this is a familiar, let's say, prompt. This will show up regardless, or this will show up on a few different wallets. So the, the number one thing you, I guess, kind of have to take away from this video is where are these XPubs located? So I'll show you, for example, where they would be on the Atomic Wallet. If you're using something else, um, you can find them yourselves, or you can check out some of the other videos I made on this channel. So in the Atomic Wallet, it's located right here underneath the setting option. And then in the top right corner, you have the private keys. So make sure to enter your password. And then Dodge is right here. So this is your um, Dodge private key. Obviously you have a QR as well, but I'm just gonna copy it. And I'm gonna click connect blockchain. And then from here, let's find the Dodge, um, Dodge coin. There it is. So copy and paste it. Obviously the word public key does not need to be in there. And then you click import. So that's one way you can do it alternatively. You don't even have to type in Atomic, you can just type in Dodge and it'll actually show up at the same window. And once again, copy and paste it and click import. So whether the information is imported via the API of that exchange that you're using or CSV files or just the XPub, um, it doesn't really matter. Once you're happy with that information being in Coinly, head over into the transactions area and here you will get um, kind of behind the scenes of what, what's going on. Coinly has done all the hard stuff, which is calculated your capital gains and losses. If you've done any kinds of staking, make sure that's tagged correctly. Send to pool, send from pool. I've made videos on that as well. And then once you're happy with that, head over into the tax reports area. And here you get a summary of all your activities throughout the year, your capital gains, your costs and expenses, your income. And it's kind of a great way to kind of see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. Once you're happy with everything you see there, scroll down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, plenty of different options. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. I've made videos on TurboTax as well. Feel free to check those out if you're interested. Um, for the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Germany, Canada, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant and then combine it with their other you know with your other tax documentation or alternatively you can invite them to coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us and then lastly check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to a very simple coin integration video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below. Uh, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a, a forum section where we talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact us section. If everything else fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.